Michelle, <laughs> it's time to wake up. It keeps scaring me. She said don't scare. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Okay. No, that's good. Let's just keep that one. <laughs> Let's just keep that one. I think that was funny. <laughs> oh my gosh. But I didn't say it was time for you to do your show. <laughs> it's okay. I think we all get it now. <laughs> hey everybody, thank you for tuning in to Win Life TV. Welcome to the series Life in Bloom with Michelle Matthew. Today we're going to talk about getting a good night's rest. <laughs> it's come see you soon. <laughs> I don't know what to say. <laughs> come back. Welcome back everyone and thank you so much to John and Kristen Moore for more personal transformations for being a part of this show. That was the best. I loved it. I hope you guys enjoyed it too. We just have a ball whenever we're together. So today I want to talk to you about getting a good night's rest and you know my mind races all the time when I go to bed and it, it'll keep me up for like an hour or two or three and I don't get that rest that I need so the next day I can be the best mom, the best wife, the best person and show up in my life every day with just so much energy. So today I'm going to give you five tips on how to get a good night's rest. Now number one, an hour or so before bed, it's really awesome if you can take this time for yourself and just dedicate it every day that you're going to have some relaxing herbal tea or take an herbal supplement. It needs to be a high quality herbal supplement and if you need some recommendations for companies that sell the highest quality, I can, I can do that for you. So just reach out in the comments below. And the herbal, the herbal teas and the herbs that you need to look for need to have things like, you can do chamomile, but to me that's so blah, blah, blah because we have chamomile all the time and I'm really tired of that. But I look for things like lavender, skull cap, and even catnip. Now, yes, your cat will go bonkers and you won't, so don't worry, you're not gonna act like a crazy person. But these are Nervine herbs, so they actually relax the nerves in your body so you can just calm down. So that's really important when you start to get ready for bed. Uh, number two is melatonin. Guys, melatonin should be used sparingly because it is a hormone and so when you start supplementing hormones you or your body stops making them and i hope that you guys get that and understand that i know that melatonin is really popular and even some physicians are recommending that you give this to children i don't recommend that of course talk to your physician educate yourself but when you're a child, you produce a lot of melatonin, a lot of this hormone. And as you age, you produce less and less. So I only recommend using one milligram of melatonin for just about two weeks when you're trying to get back into a rhythm. So like if you have jet lag or if you're really, really sick and now your rhythm's all messed up. Number three, stop using your electronics before bed. And I'm so guilty of this. And another show we talked about getting off Facebook and not checking your email, that's huge too. But even the TV, and I'm so guilty of that too. But turning the TV off just a little bit before bed can start to help you relax. But when you're using your phone, if you're, if you're reading on your phone, make sure you use a, uh, an app like Koala because that'll turn the blue screen yellow. That blue screen messes up the chemistry in your brain so then you don't actually sleep very well. And if you've ever noticed that the nights you stay on your phone, checking Facebook or email or texting, you don't sleep as well. So I challenge you to find an app or something like that that will help turn the screen from the blue to the yellow. That'll be so important. And the one I recommend is Koala. Number four, and this one is so huge and so, so special, such a, such a special time for you that you can set every day that you just focus on yourself. And number four is journaling because when you set this time to, to just get the thoughts out of your head, you can write about gratitude and accomplishments, getting the thoughts from your head onto paper. It's like manifesting. This is how you can turn these dreams 
and these goals into a reality. There's something about just writing it down and getting it out there. And then the universe will start to align with whatever it is that you're putting out there and you're trying to accomplish. Number five, and this one's gonna sound a little weird to do at bedtime, but I do this, I make my to-do list and then I keep it by the bed because every night when I go to bed, uh, my mind just races with whatever it is that I need to do the next day. So having the stuff written down, you know, before I go to bed and then as I'm laying there falling asleep, all these things come to me, I can write them down. You can also not just have a to-do list, but it can be a journal or some other piece of paper beside the bed. So that way when you get your bright ideas, like I do when I'm trying to fall asleep and I get this genius idea, you have to write it down. Now, it may not be so genius in the morning <laughs> because it could have been just partly, you know, a dream or something. Doesn't matter. This could be comical in the morning to read, but sometimes you'll have some magnificent thought, something brilliant because you're finally relaxed and to have it written down would be so awesome and to propel you forward in your life. Guys, I hope you enjoyed these tips to getting a good night's rest. If you have other tips or teas or ideas or herbs that you'd like to add into this, I'd love to hear from you. Make sure you write it in the comments below. Thank you for tuning in to Win Life TV. As always, you can follow me on uh, Facebook and Instagram at Michelle Matthew. Be sure to adjust your notifications to get notified every time we go live. And I'll see you guys next time.